Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I wanted to talk about uh, the California National Guard excluding Alex Jones from a dirty bomb exercise. The California National Guard has blocked info wars reporters Joe Biggs and Jakari Jackson from attending a dirty bomb exercise set to take place tomorrow in Richmond, with one official citing the nature of their work as reason. By the way, that's Richmond, California. I'll bring that website up in a minute. Here's a body of letter. Upon reviewing your body of work, the California Military Department has chosen to decline you and Jakari Jackson, referring to Mr. Biggs, uh, media access to the emergency response exercise involving California National Guard on April 11, 2015, Richmond, Virginia. The nature of your work and the media programs in which you regularly participate, i.e. the Alex Jones Show, are consistently conspiratorial and inflammatory in nature. It means they actually report the news. Therefore, we hold little re result in a fair and responsible report from your audience, meaning... <laughs> Alex Jones lets them know exactly what he's thinking. And the computer just screwed up, so I don't know what the problem here is. We hold little confidence that granting you access to exercise would result in fair and responsible report for your audience. Further inquiries can be directed to me at this email. Cripes, I wish I had his email. I'd love to blast him. Uh, I have pages for this, so... You know, we have this thing called the First Amendment. And Alex Jones is right. I don't care what you think about Alex Jones. We have this thing called the First Amendment. He is a reporter. He just doesn't go along with the uh, mainstream uh, boobies. Uh, all they do is repeat what they're told to repeat. I mean, a parrot can do just about as well as these people on the news. All they do is parrot what the government says, and that's the end of that. Alex Jones goes on to talk, this exercise will include more than 200 soldiers, airmen, law enforcement, firefighting personnel to send on the city in order to defuse the situation reports the Richmond Standard. The drill will also involve California National Guard's 49th Military Brigade, which is home to FEMA's Region 9 Homeland Response Force. This exercise is one of the many upcoming military drills in which some fear are being used to decline the public to martial law should troops ever be used to patrol the streets in the event of a national emergency or civil unrest. Jade Helm, a realistic military training exercise involving nine states, which will involve the Green Beret, Navy SEALs, and 82nd Airborne, Vision is set to take place from July 15th to September 15th. It's prompting concerns after Texas and Utah were labeled hostile territory in documents related to the exercise. Yeah, there is some concern there. I haven't got too much into the Jade Helm thing, but I'm certainly aware of it. It's all pretty much mainstream. It's not a conspiratorial thing. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, article. This is from the Richmond Standard, whatever that is. Mock dirty bomb drill to bring hundreds of soldiers, airmen, police, and fire officials to Richmond. 
Day-long exercise hosted by the El Cerrito Police Department will take place in the facility shared by Richmond and El Cerrito Fire Departments at 3506 Cutting Boulevard, California National Guard, announced Friday. More than 100 soldiers and airmen belonging to the California National Guard's 49th Military Brig Police Brigade based in Fairfield will conduct decontamination, medical explosive ordnance, disposal, and security training. The El Cerrito and Richmond Police and Fire Departments in Contra Costa County Office of Emergency Services will take part. So, you know, this is the official, this is from California, this is uh, the news. Now we're going to take a look at Will Martin on Twitter and Will Martin This is Will Martin's uh, Twitter page. I don't know that much about Will Martin. I don't know that much about Twitter. I am on it. I tried tweeting him. It didn't show up. I don't know what's wrong with that. It's at Will Martin 89. I haven't done that much with uh, Twitter, so I don't know. I don't know a huge amount about it. To be honest with you. Oh, there is a microblog site. This is his page. He also has a page on LinkedIn. And a personal website. This is the guy who basically told Alex Jones to shove it. You know, I love Alex Jones. I don't always agree with him. But he has the right to say what he says. Well, apparently I don't have a LinkedIn page. There is a LinkedIn page. I looked him up. This is his personal website, supposedly. So, you know, here we go. Only certain people, only people who say the right things are uh, being allowed to report on some of this stuff, apparently. That's not what the Constitution says. The Constitution says anybody who wants to report the news can right freedom of the press uh, shall not be abridged that's in the first amendment of the constitution the whole idea is to allow anyone who wanted to report on certain things access to uh, the press and be able to uh, put the stuff out. But California National Guard has clearly indicated that they don't support the Constitution here. This is uh, Will Martin has similarly indicated that he does not support the U.S. Constitution. Well, maybe we can get some people to blast these sons of bitches. I don't know. I'm blasting them right now. This is disgusting. He claims to be a Christian. Media savvy soldier with a heart for God and neighbor. California National Guard pays my bills, but my opinions are my own. I don't know. I think this guy is a commie lib. He's a leftist pinko commie, probably. I don't know what else to say. He hates the Constitution, that's obvious. I did tweet him, I ripped him a new one, but with what little I can do with Twitter.
But to me, this is utterly disgusting. And the reason, you know, the reason it disgusts me is that Alex Jones has a right to report this stuff. You don't have to listen to Alex Jones if you don't want. You know, I love Alex Jones. I don't always take him seriously, but I love him anyway. This is disgusting. This is a clear violation of the First Amendment. This guy is an enemy of the Constitution. He's an enemy of this country. And yet he claims to be an upstanding soldier, citizen, and all this. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Well, if you want to rip him, I gave you the information. If you don't want to rip him, and you agree with him, Alex Jones should be shut out. Of the process, we don't need citizen reporters. Citizen reporters don't have the right to do this. Citizen reporters should just keep their mouths shut and listen to uh, the mainstream. If that's what you believe in, don't bother by it. I'll never agree with that. Alex Jones does hype things. I admit. He hypes them quite a bit sometimes. But he's doing the Lord's work as far as I'm concerned. And this dirtbag is not. Okay, so I'm an agnostic. It's metaphorical when I'm saying he's doing the Lord's work. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Coming to you from the warming up plains of sunny western New York State. It's spring. It's finally got here, more or less. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. And remember that you are the media. When you report news, you put out a tweet, you do a YouTube video, you uh, text your friends telling them what's going on, you are the media. And this is what these scumbags like Will Martin want to stop. I want to fax Mars.